Happy Thanksgiving 2017, everyone. And it is 23 freaking degrees out here in Fairfield, Virginia at my in-laws for Thanksgiving. And it's been, what, six weeks now? I meant to do a four week update for the super capacitor hybrid car battery. Well, I've been busy with moving and work and everything. So we're gonna kill two birds with one stone today. One, we're gonna do the update with the modifications I've done in the past month. A little bit of tweaking so this way it works correctly. And at the same time, we're gonna do a cold start because most lead acid batteries at 23 degrees, if they're getting old, they're getting weak, you know sometimes they won't start. So we're gonna do both of them. Okay, so first things first, let's get the cold start out of the way. The car's been sitting for about 10 hours and I can't focus on the screen right now because the frost's in the way. So we'll take a look at it as soon as I open the door. Right now it's saying 13.2 volts. I open it on up. There you go. 13.2. It's just starting to drop because the lights are on now. So we are at full power. Let's sit down and let's do a uh, start. It didn't even care at 23 degrees. Actually, it's saying 25 on the car, but it's actually 23 degrees. So, she cranked over perfectly. And you can see, it's already charged back up. The battery will come up uh, in a few more minutes, up to about 14.3, 14.4, but you can see the supercapacitors are already fully charged. And of course, here's one of the updates. I am no longer using this. And the reason being is, the unit started acting really weird. That was in the back with the battery and the supercapacitors. Um, it wouldn't read the amperage correctly. Something was wrong with the shunt. It was reading like 80 amps when it wasn't doing anything. It got all wonky. So I ended up just ripping out the unit. I got the usable information out of it. Now, I did have one problem with it. And the main problem was, was the um, half ohm uh, capacity the half ohm resistor that we were using the problem with that was it was doing a great job of decoupling the um, battery from the supercapacitor this way you didn't actually use the battery so much when it came to starting you used all the supercapacitor but it wasn't allowing enough amperage to come back in so after about a week or so it ended up actually draining the battery because I couldn't get it charged because most of my commutes are about 20 minutes long so I ended up changing it out. Let's open up the trunk and I put a much smaller one in there. Instead of a half ohm, it's a one tenth of an ohm. Now it still stays within the 15 amp charge rating of that battery, but um, it allows it to fully charge within about five to 10 minutes of idling. It's perfect. And I haven't had an issue since I removed the um, relay unit that gave me the information up front and also changed out the resistor for half ohm to a tenth of an ohm. So let's go ahead and look at the quick little modification on that. And you can see I have removed the actual relay unit and it's completely gone. And I used to have the half ohm resistor stacked on the side. Now it's just this little 25 watt rated one tenth. Okay, there we go. Now we got focus 25 watt one tenth of an ohm rated resistor and it works beautifully it never overheats otherwise that's the only two changes i've done to this unit and i've never had a problem with it since i've also had a few um viewers request that i put a clamp meter on here and see the amp amperage draw on starting it whether it be from the supercapacitors or the battery so we're going to do that right now Okay, so the car's still running from when I first started it, and you can see right now it is recharging the battery with about 2.36 amps. I'm on the main positive that's going up to the front of the car. So we're going to go ahead and switch it to minimum and maximum on this meter. And I'm going to shut off the car and turn it back on. Off. Start. So, looks like 27.56. Now see, 
This is for the maximum, it's over limit. This meter only reads up to 600 amps, so that's as far as I can go with it. And of course, minimum is also over limit. So we've gone past this. I'm still pulling more than 600 amps with no problems whatsoever through the super caps. Now let's do this again on the battery side. So let me clear this out. There we go. And let's connect up to the battery, positive. Okay. And you can see the battery right now is charging at 1.73 amps. So again, let's switch it on over to minimum and maximum and stop and start again. Stop. Start. You can see the battery is still charging at 1.76. Only 2.8 amps, max. oh that's minimum, average, maximum, yeah, 1.76. It didn't pull practically anything from the battery whatsoever. It all came from the supercapacitors and it still charges perfectly fine. And you can see the battery right now is taking 1.5 amps to top it off. So this isolates it beautifully and it's not even really worn to the touch right now. So it works beautifully. So another thing we wanted to do, while the car is still running right now, we also wanted to check the balance on the supercapacitor arrays that do not have the balancing circuit on it. Now that they've been running for six weeks, let's see how balanced they are. Are they going out of balance? Are they going over voltage? The car is currently running, and the front gauge is saying that this supercapacitor pack is at 14.4 volts. So let's just double check that real quick once I get this untangled here. So here's positive, here's negative. Yep, 14.44 volts for the whole supercapacitor pack. So let's check and see how these are doing. There's negative. 2.9. You have to bear with me, my hands are cold. <laughs> 2.91. 2.91. Two basically. Still not bad. 2.88, 2.88, and the last one, 2.85. That's close enough to balance. That's perfectly fine. That's probably about what these are. So we're not having any balance issues with this, no over voltage issues. These capacitors are very well matched for their internal resistance. They're not drifting at all. That's beautiful, I love it. So there you go. The uh, battery works beautifully. The only two modifications we had to do was rip out the uh, relay unit and change the uh, decoupling resistor from a half an ohm to one tenth of an ohm. And also shrink it down because it's not dissipating as much heat. So you don't need that big giant one that we had before. That nice little one works beautifully. And we can also tell now that that Supercapacitor array that Amperex makes that doesn't have any balancing and I couldn't solder a balance board to it is actually staying in balance even without having a balance board on it. So my next thing I'm going to try doing is when Amperex finally gets into stock with them again, I'm going to buy two more of those supercapacitor arrays, install them and remove the two with the uh, balance boards because they're a lot bigger and they're lower capacity. Those are only 400 ferric super caps, whereas the array that they have the string of five is 600 and it's more compact so i want to get two more redo the copper bus bars and make the whole unit more compact we don't have the big giant resistor anymore so i'm going to get a smaller case and depending upon how small i can really make it and uh, it might go back up in the front engine again and make a nice little compact unit that would actually sit where a regular battery would go so I don't know when this is going to happen. I got to wait until Amperex gets it back in the stock. So we'll see. We'll keep playing with this and I will keep it updated. But again, you saw the car. It started perfectly fine at 23 degrees this morning. It, did, it acted like it was 70 degrees outside. So there's no problems whatsoever. Granted, I'm not going to be able to test a negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit because I'm not going to Alaska. Neither is the car. But 
at least in the northeast i might see a 10 degree or 5 degree day once this winter if i do i will gladly retest it again and put the video up on here for you so if you have any questions or comments go ahead and leave them down below and any thumbs up is appreciated thanks